Hello and welcome to Sovereign RPG. I am Sovereign. Today we're going to be going and trying to kill the Sabretooth boss with a little bit of RP at the beginning. Then the main fight will be, as always, me actually talking over the fight and all of my reactions, etc. And then we'll go into a little bit more of an RP segment. I really hope you do enjoy the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. For all of your survival game goodness, fly safe. After the killing of the Vajra Ape, our spirits were held high. After our victory, we built a shrine to our gods, thanking them for our good fortune and placed treasures in the heads of our foes to show our belief in their power. I surveyed our lands, happy with what we have created for ourselves. But today... Today we have to do something unthinkable, something nobody has done in these lands. A new scourge has infected these lands. After the defeat of the Sabretooth, there were rumours. Rumours of something far more dangerous, another of its kind. White fur shimmers in the sunlight of the day, fangs as long as iron swords and sharper than the most refined blades. We have heard rumours of deaths at the Pyramid of the Sabretooth, and we must stop this beast before any more are defeated. Armed with all the necessary equipment still in abundance after the fight with the ape, we were ready to head out. Luckily this time, we do not have to travel far, but we have a portal, and that portal can take us anywhere. Thank the gods. We used it and headed to the shrine to conquer this new foe. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed the little bit of an RP segment. We're going to be fighting the Berserk Sabretooth today. I'm hoping we're going to be able to do it with the same strategy that we have for the Vajra Ape. This guy is awareness level 40, so it's going to be kind of a tough one, I think. But I'm hopefully the, the archers doing with the poison arrows will probably do quite a lot. Because this guy runs around, so it'll be a lot of ticking damage. And it's going to be something that might be, like, the best for this one. I, I don't have my hopes up. I think these guys are going to get murdered because his bleed is insane. But we're going to try it. We're going to see what we're going to do. And we're going to go through what we're going to do with the Berserk Saber 2 Predator token. Now, we need Rare Fresh Meat 5, Premium Beast Mode 5, Premium Beast Blood 5, and Worship Containers 2. We're going to try and actually uh, do this a couple of times if we can, so we can get the uh, armor unlocked and get enough of the resources we need to actually craft the armor at the end of the episode. So let's try and see what we can do here. I'm gonna press E, get this guy to spawn. Are you gonna spawn? Why didn't you spawn? Why didn't. Oh god, I crashed. Something's going wrong. Why have I got 4 million XP down in the corner there? That was weird as hell. We did actually just get kicked out of the game. Like off the uh, so I had the single player, we got like crashed. So hopefully, I don't think it actually spawned anything in. No, it didn't. So we're actually lucky. I thought we were actually going to die. So we're going to carry on with that. That's really fucking annoying. But we'll try and kill this guy. Here he is. He's spawning over there. We're going to try and get him as much as possible. He's going to do it from a distance, so we're going to get our guys to start firing. He's got, like, no HP, this guy. Why are our guys not attacking? We haven't got any of our guys following. Holy shit, we haven't got any of them deployed. Deploy, because we crashed. Oh, my God. Deploy. Oh, this is a really bad start. This is a really bad start. This is a really bad start. We're now poisoned. Oh, my God, he's fucking us up. Stop doing that shit. Fight someone else. How am I not dodging? We're going to die of poison. He's going to run and jump us. He's going to jump with the archers over there. They're down and out. I'm actually down right now. I need to get one of our guys to get me up. This is a really bad start. And I just ended the fucking deployment. This is really bad. Our HP is going up, but we need to get up and get our guys up because our archer's about to die over there and I haven't got this guy saved. Archer rescue. This game up. Our guys are actually fighting without being deployed over here. We might be able to save this a little bit. X, we'll get out of that. Yeah, we'll use that ability. This is, this is like really bad. Our guys are still fighting though, and they're not deployed. Okay, we're, we're okay. We're okay. <laughs> oh, this could have been really bad. I keep getting like stunned. I need to... Uh... The guys over there. The, the tribesmen are taking almost no damage. I got absolutely blasted. He's, he's going out of the thing. We need to get this guy to follow us because he's going outside. He's going to start healing in a second. Let's get you deployed. Let's move out of the way. Shit. Come on, get inside. Get inside. Follow. We need to follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Come on, guys. Guys, follow me. He's going outside. Mm. We gotta put you on passive. He's res fucking respawned. God damn it. This is some bullshit. Where are you going? Stop running faster than me. I need to get you deployed before you start fighting. Shit. 
God damn it. Okay, let's go. Let's try it again without getting absolutely blasted. And I just pressed the Windows key. Everything's going wrong right now. Fight, guys. Fight. Everyone needs to be fighting. Why is no one fighting? Why are you not fighting? Fight. We need to do all the damage. Holy shit, that archer just took an absolute blast in there. We're going to have to get him up. He's... Oh, God. Don't die, archer. Don't die. Get you up. Rescue. Oh, only just... Oh, this is a lot more difficult than the Vajra Ape because of that bleed. That bleed is next level. We do, if we get him in a headshot, we do a crap load of damage. I forgot to put points into... Well, we were fighting the Vajra Ape before. I forgot to put points into the actual... Um, he's stunned. Let's try and get those big hits. Let me try and get a big hammer hit. Oh, that was a big hammer hit. I haven't used my broth or anything. I'm getting everything out. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons. I'm in panic mode. Because I want to get this guy gone. Who's down? Where are you going? Why? Why? Why did you reset? Why did you run out for no fucking reason? Luckily, it's HP that we still had arrows firing at him. So we should get this done. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. And we actually got it. The same between Predator set and everything. That was, uh, like, that was really bad. Like, I did not enjoy that one second or one bit. Too many bad things were happening all at once. But we did get the Sabertooth head. And we are going to actually unlock this now. And we're going to be going into the final RP segment of this video. I want to thank you for watching. We did it. We conquered this berserking foe. We took its head. We replaced his younger sibling's head on the wall of our temple with a white third monstrosity. We crafted our armor from his rotting corpse and donned it for everyone to see how our tribe is strong and the masses should fear us. What new challenges lay ahead, we do not know, but we are ready for anything. And there we have it, the end of the Berserker, the Berserking Sabertooth boss. We got our new armor, all crafted by the lovely, beautiful myself, gear crafted by Sovereign, lovely Jubbly. But we have got a few more bosses to kill. I might try and kill the Fog Frog next. Just to get that one out of the way so we can get the Fog Frog armor. I really do love the look of it. Even though we probably won't ever use it unless we're going to actually go and fight the last tier of the Fog Frog boss. I just wanted to actually talk about what we have in the base here. I really do love the look. There was one of the comments in the uh, video that I was doing for this building video. I will leave like a card for how I built all of this level and the floor. Uh, and then like I just added a load of fires and stuff along the edges here to make the statue of the gods look really good. Uh, and we put the heads up on this side. We're going to have the four first heads and then the last boss head we're going to have up the back behind this uh, the statue of the gods so it's going to be right up there in the front and we did put the portal up here instead of down inside so we can have this it's kind of like a uh like this is going to be where we pray to the gods and i think it actually looks really cool like if you take away all those bloody names away i think that actually looks really good it's just i don't know i really like it and i crashed again there for some reason my internet keeps uh like i guess it keeps killing the game i'm not sure what's happening today um as you can tell with the saber tooth uh, that didn't go as planned like at all crashing and then i'm not realizing that the bloody things were undeployed and then all of the chaos that happened after that that's pretty damn good but yeah i really like the way this has turned out i'm really liking the way it looks uh, i think it looks absolutely amazing like uh i don't know just just speaking for myself there if you want to watch the video the card will be in the top and there will be a link for that video in the description on how i built this whole area i want to thank you all for watching hope you enjoyed the video fly safe and avoid local chat scams Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up, it's time to look at